So today's topic is on BPA and plastic. So many people have autoimmunity. One of the things that that they tend to happen is they tend to focus on foods and the focus on foods really takes away from the impact that um, chemicals and environmental issues have in heavy medic. And for most part, when people think of environmental chemicals that impact autoimmunity, what they're really thinking about are things like heavy metals uh, and mercury and lead. And they're really forgetting everyday household chemicals that can have an impact on autoimmunity, especially BPA. So, you know, drinking out of a wa bottled water may not always be the best idea because when you drink out of a bottled water, you're getting some degree of BPA in it. Now, the longer the watered bottle has been exposed to heat um, and the more acidic the solution is in the water bottle, the more likely that you're going to get higher amounts of BPA. So, for example, if you have like a plastic bottle always stored in your trunk uh, and your car gets pretty hot all the time, you're getting a lot of BPA breached into that uh, bottled water. And sometimes you can actually taste the, the BPA. The BPA does have a flavor, so you can almost taste that plastic. Just like sometimes when people you know, drink out of hose, they can taste the plastic. So if you're tasting plastic, you're getting a lot of BPA exposure, which is not the best thing to do if you're trying to calm down your autoimmunity or just improve your overall health. So the other thing to know is that when you look at BPA uh, is that when you're looking at uh, the solution that's in it. So for example, if you put vinegar in a plastic bottle and then you put something that's like alkaline water, higher pH in a plastic bottle, the vinegar is gonna cause greater uh, breakdown of the plastics and, 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 and then lead to BPA being in the vinegar at a higher solution. So when you use the vinegar, you're gonna have higher amounts of BPA. So if you're using anything that's acidic, um, and, and just so you know, soda is very acidic. As a matter of fact, Mountain Dew is, and most uh, sodas are more acidic than vinegar. You just can't taste the acidity because they put so much sugar in there. But if you see, for example, uh, <clears throat> a Mountain Dew bottle that's been in someone's trunk and they, you know, then they, all the BPA has been breached in there because of the heat and also because of the acidity of the soda, there's a lot of BPA compounds in that in that solution. So you really want to you know be careful drinking out of uh, plastic compounds. And if you're dealing with autoimmunity, you could be like, well, you know, I've cut down gluten and dairy and dingon and paleo, and I'm doing all these things. I still like any better. But one of the issues is you may, may really actually have some some autoimmune responses. <clears throat> the other key issue is that drinking through coffee lids uh, is going to be a, a very uh, effective way for BPA to get into your system. So um, the plastic lids all have BPA, plastics and other chemicals on them. And when you drink coffee, the heat will release BPA and BPA vapors into your system. So, you know, it's a good idea to just take off the lid uh, altogether to avoid uh, that BPA exposure. So if you're, you know, having your Starbucks or a cup of coffee or use a lid every single morning, you're basically putting in a significant amount of BPA into your system. And then also microwaving or heating foods is, is also a um, really, really bad idea because you're going to get a lot of BPA breach into your system um, as the sausages in this, <laughs> in, the, in this example are heated up. All that BPA vapor from the plastic lid and from the tray itself are they going to leach into the food and then you're going to ingest that and you're going to get high amounts of BPA exposure. So that's the one thing, those are the key, key ways people get BPA. The other way people get BPA is they get BPA from receipts. As a matter of fact, ink and all receipts have BPA in them. So if you're constantly handling those types of receipts, you're going to get BPA into your skin. So just through plastic bottles, um, how food is prepared, how food is heated, coffee lids, and touching receipts, it allows a person to get a high amount of BPA exposure. And then you know, over recent years, they started to make BPA substitutes. And the reason they've done that is because there's been really clear evidence that BPA is not something that's healthy for us to be exposed to. Um, the only promise is, is that, you know, we live in a world where we need to use plastics. 